All right, guys, you've seen the Squire 660 before. I picked it two or three videos ago. It's a four lever lever lock. And I had a lot of comments from guys wanting to know, well, what's going on? How, how exactly is that happening? Well, ever on a quest to upgrade, I've upgraded the lock cam for Lock Lab. The old one didn't have very good resolution. This new one is HD and the camera is a lot smaller. So what I've done is I've drilled a hole in the bottom of the 660 and I'm able to slide the camera up inside of there and you're going to be able to see everything that's going on. So what I'm going to do is put this uh, in the vise. I'm going to tape the camera in position so that it doesn't move around at all and I'll have both hands free to pick this lock and you'll see exactly what's going on inside of there when it's getting picked. Give you a lot better idea of what to do when you pick your own. So let me go ahead and clamp it up and let's learn about the innards as well as a little bit of new terminology from Kit Bear. All right, I got that camera up inside the hole we drilled and I've got him taped in place. He shouldn't jiggle around too much. Uh, just to explain what you're looking at, these are the four levers right there in the top center of the screen. Those are the four levers we're going to be picking. And on the far left, you can see another what looks like a wafer, but that's actually the tensioning bar. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in just a minute. Before we do that though, let's go ahead and put the key into it and show you how everything lines up. Notice how when I slide the key in, it goes into the hole in the back of the lock. See that hole right there? Slide them in there. And that keeps the key aligned perfectly when we begin to rotate it. Now on the left hand side of that key, you see that bar that sticks out pretty far, as far further than anything else? He's against the back wall of the lock. That's actually called the terminal step. Think of it as the last step on the key, and he's the one that's going to apply tension. He's going to slide up into that little cutout. Now, when I rotate him around, you'll see that cutout kind of grab him. Let's turn it. And you see how it kind of grabs him right there? That's because it's called the talon. It's kind of, think of it as a bird, bird's talon grabbing hold of that key. So when we rotate it, he fits into the talon. And then all of the other levers get lifted to the appropriate height, depending on the cut of the key. And then we continue to rotate and we get an open. Okay, let's lock them back up and let's pull it out of there. Now let's see what happens when we use a, uh, a lock pick. So I'm going to slide my tensioner in. Notice he fits into the same hole. We rotate that around and that would be the terminal step. We'll now slide into the talon. And by the way, all, this terminology all came from Kit Bear, part of my lever lock uh, education. So now he's in there, and when I apply tension to the, to the, um, into the talon with the terminal step, you notice all those wafers are now kind of moving a little bit. And that's because they're all under some pretty serious tension. But we're not going to get it open because they're not lifted to the right height. So let's go ahead and put a pick in there. Let's rotate the pick back, or the tensioner back. Slide a pick in there. Keep everything aligned, and then kind of rotate it. Slide it back into the talon, apply pretty heavy tension. And now I'm just going to take my pick and I'm going to move from one lever to the next, just testing them, give them a little jiggle. I got nothing, slide to the next one. I got nothing, slide to the next one. When I clicked him, I felt a little, um, well, I felt a little click and I felt a little give on my tensioner, but that's as far as he goes. So I'm going to check number four, nothing. I felt another slight turn, so that was a second. There was a false gate on that second lever. I'm going to go to three. Nothing. Four, nothing. Let's give three another jiggle, and there we go. Now we got an open. We rotate everything around. Pull the pick out. And we have an open. All right, guys, there you are. There's how the inside of a lever lock works, and just a little bit of terminology that it that I just learned myself thanks to KitBear. Thanks for your time, stay safe, stay legal. I've produced over 200 videos a year for the last several years and would really appreciate your support. All I'm asking is you subscribe, click on the like button for each video, and share them on social media. That's it. Thanks, guys.